Hello CS50, my name is Valentin Paniagua, I'm from Lima, Peru, and this is my 18th take of this recording, I'm, I'm tired. So, for my final project, I decided to make an Enigma machine. It was an encryption mechanism used in the Second World War by the Germans, which was not really hard to decipher, because every letter didn't encrypt the same. So, for example, AEA, you would expect it to, for example, be BBB or DDD. Um, no, it's actually BDC, so yeah, it changes every time. This is because um, um, it rotates. So, for example, if I were to press F, this is just a simulation of the same Enigma machine, it rotates one time. Um, it doesn't, for the second rotor to rotate, the third rotor has to do a full revolution, but it doesn't rotate at Z, it actually rotates at U to V, and the second rotor rotates from. I think it was E to F when you press E and the third rotor rotates in Q so yeah it's um, extra encryption my machine is missing some features for example the scatterboard which is this thing which basically did um, was made to make it harder to decipher if I were to press A the machine would interpret it as W and if the output was something like W it would um, be A so yes just scrambles it a bit more uh, my mach in the original machine you could actually pick up a rotor and move them around so rotor 3 would go on rotor 2 and f so forth um, for an extra sneakiness um, I didn't um, code that I do plan on doing it in the future but yeah now if we take it for a spin it encrypts just fine and decrypts just fine here it would do the same um, I LDDA, yeah, so. um, another thing is that this machine is subjected to a flow called the double step in its rotor 2 here is a paper about it which is in the readme um, so yeah you can see here in this rotor it will step twice from E to F Two times it should only step to E, but it was a flaw, it was too hard to fix, so they kept it. I didn't do it because it's a flaw. Also, my machine ignores spaces and treats every letter as if it were an uppercase. Yeah, so that's about it. Um, thanks.